So basically what, what we started doing last time was to define where the position, position sizing, where, uh, where it fits within the, uh, all the, the, the money management, what is so-called the money management, which consists about risk control measures, position management techniques, which is, uh, is another, is another interesting topic, and position sizing formula, which is the, the topic that we are covering. So money management is really a, a very vast topic. And um, it um, it covers from position management, from risk control measures, and so on. And position sizing is only one side of it, one part of money management, but it's very wide, very versatile, very creative, and also uh, quite easy to apply since um, it's it's not about analysis, it's not about well, uh, the, uh, nothing to do with with forecasting or or analyzing, but it's simply apply a formula. So it's practically the the, the, the most easy part of uh, of the whole trading plan is to is to apply the the position the position size. Money management as a whole is not mean to replace a strategy. That is why uh, we have not started with this topic at the beginning. We have developed a complete uh, strategy. We have tested it. We have uh, um, very verified the, the, the concept behind the strategy and so on and so on. And now that we have a strategy proven, backtested, we are able to face this topic. Money management is also not mean to turn a losing strategy in a winning one. So you need at least a, a, a robust strategy with, with a, a positive expectancy and you can then enhance its, uh, its uh, performance with uh, with position sizing and um, but you can you can't enhance the traders execution skills which are more a question of training and uh, and psychological uh, control so to say so there are things that can be done a lot of but uh, you can't do miracles with uh, with position sizing okay so money management uh, should be used to enhance the efficiency and robustness of a trading strategy only if it has been proven effective, as I said, and it should be used as a capital allocation framework, allowing you to control the size of positions accordingly to your goals and risk profile. Okay, we have seen also uh, man position management te techniques like averaging up, averaging down. We have seen uh, categorized position sizing and mar martingale and anti martingale uh, types of uh, position sizing. And uh, we uh, started by covering different uh, different uh, position uh, sizing models. And uh, the first one, the, 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 to be to compare the the fractional uh, position size with, we started with a fixed lot, which is basically you trade always with a with a fixed lot uh, size with a with a constant um, lot size, so that um, that no variations appear. Okay, you see an equity curve, right? This this equity curve is the is is what we the strategy that we have been talking about in uh, in previous uh, webinars. The strategy that we developed from scratch, the strategy that we that we afterwards that we that we back tested and so on. And here we have the results over five years of trading with a fixed lot. Okay trading always the same lot size. And you see the equity curve is, is quite straight. It's an ascending, ascending curve it can be supported with a, with a linear, um, with a, with ascending line. Okay. And, um, in, in indifference to, to a fixed lot size, we have here the results. You see the trade results in, in, in dollars are practically always the, the same result. And we have the trade results in percentage decreasing because you are trading always the same size. So in, uh, in relation to the growing uh, equity, the, the results are in percentage less and less. So we, you have this, uh, this triangular shape of the trade results in, in percentage. But then, you have this type of curve, this uh, exponential ascending, ascending uh, equity curve, when you work with uh, with a pure fixed fractional model. Okay, you see that uh, um, yeah, the trade size keeps increasing, and also 
the, the results. Also, drawdowns get uh, more severe with uh, with bigger bigger position sizes, and you see this ascending curve. So the the question was was addressing um, this type of um, of results. So there are uh, traders who have manifested a difficulty when the when the result uh, when the, the trader results achieve um, a very high uh, performances, a difficulty to to handle with uh, that type of position sizing because the the, the formula used, the fixed fractional, the pure fixed fractional formula, asks for adding to the position as the account grows. Because you are risking, uh, although you are risking a fixed percentage in terms of capital, you are risking a more and more. So that the, position, the resulting position size is also increasing. And this, again, increases the, the impact of each trade uh, on the, on the equity. Okay. And this may cause some some difficulties. 